Hey guys, so we're gonna do a little fall 2016 life and college update. Mm -hmm. We do these videos pretty much every, every time day. we get together. Yeah, and yeah. you guys love them. We just wrote down a couple questions that we thought you guys would like to know the answers to. If you guys didn't know, Jazzy goes to Cal Poly Slow. I go to UC Berkeley. So the first question is, which classes did you take this semester? I took survey of biochemistry, physics, stats, and food quality assurance. I took environmental design 102, which was critical debates in sustainable urbanism. City planning 119, which was planning for sustainability. City planning 110, which was intro to city planning. ESPM, which is environmental science policy and management. 161, which was environmental ethics. And then LA 110, landscape architecture, which was ecological analysis. <laughs> I took five classes. Which class was your favorite? I think my biochem class was my favorite. It was really interesting. Mm -hmm. We just talked about carbs and proteins and fats a lot. I just think that's really interesting. I think my environmental ethics class was my favorite because it was the most interesting and I loved my discussion section. I had a really great GSI and I just felt like I fell more in love with my major because of that class. So it was, it was a great class. I love my mm -hmm. professor too. She was really cool. Which class was the hardest and which one was the easiest? Well, physics, oh. really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that... We both had terrible experiences with physics. Yeah, it was so hard. Like, the first week <laughs> and the first quiz we took, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be for the rest of the quarter, like, it'd be a yeah. problem. <sighs> but as soon as we got to the second week and we started talking about forces <laughs> I so just many different forces so lost. like normal force yeah, yeah and the friction forces mm -hmm. like static and those confused me and yeah. I just didn't understand anything and it's like from then on there's a lot of things kind of relate to each other mm -hmm. or rely on one another I didn't do well <laughs> I you passed that's all the yeah, matters, just, you guys <laughs> I passed I got a C minus that's all I wanted because at some point I was just like, this is not happening <laughs> the way I wanted it to. I guess my food quality assurance was the easiest. I didn't get the best grade in that class though, mm -hmm. so I don't know if yeah. that really counts. Like, is it really the easiest if I didn't get the best oh, grade? that's true. <laughs> hmm. My hardest, well, like, I think it depends because my ecological analysis class was like my technical course for the semester and those ones are harder because there's a lot of memorization and calculations and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. I still ended up doing pretty well in that class. And then there was my critical debates and sustainable urbanism class, which is a lot of like theoretical readings and like, tons of essay writing. I wrote like more than 30 essays this past semester, which was ridiculous. <laughs> I seriously had to write like three essays every week. So I think that that class with all the readings and all the essay writing made it really hard, but I still did well in it. And then the easiest class was probably my city planning 119 class, which was just planning for sustainability. I think it's because I enjoyed that class a lot that it made it easier and the reading quizzes were really easy and the assignments and the lectures were, were enjoyable. So that was probably my easiest. And I had the highest grade in that class too. What were your grades? I got two Bs and two C's, which I'm perfectly fine with. <laughs> this was the hardest quarter I've had yeah. like, since I started college, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was so terrible taking all of those classes as together. Long as you survived. Yeah, I was just happy I passed all of them. Mm -hmm. Even though this semester was like my biggest course load, I like buckled down and like made sure I did the readings every week and was on time with all the deadlines for essays. Mm -hmm. And I actually got straight A's this semester, which I thought would never happen at Berkeley. It's probably the only time I'm ever gonna get straight A's. It happened. It happened. It and I was so happy <laughs> I fought for like all my grades, especially Sometimes one, my ecological analysis class. I, I ran for that shit. <laughs> I noticed that it's easier to do better when you have more to do. Yeah. You mean, can't slack yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. You you just I was only going to take four classes at the beginning of the semester, but then I just signed up for ecological analysis and I was like, I'm just going to get this out of the way. And I'm really mm -hmm. glad I did because I probably would have slacked off a lot if I didn't. Any activities or jobs? No, I <laughs> couldn't. I think it was physics that just really took a toll on me and I had just a ton of readings yeah and I couldn't I didn't do any like extracurricular activities I tried to but the clubs that I wanted to be a part of were like interfered by my work schedule so I just really focused on work and school and then I just worked a lot this semester I really liked work I liked the people that I work with so I'm glad that same I stayed place. another semester yeah same place okay. cafe three and bear market a couple of you guys saw me and said hi to me which was really cool too so how did you get through the semester any advice for just my to pass. biochem class, 
I really just read as much as I could. Rewrote a lot of the notes we took in class. I read the book, yeah. highlighted, like actively read. And I think that's probably what helped the most. And I went into office hours a lot. Oh, yeah, That's for, like hours. number one, mm -hmm. I think, just going into office hours. Go in there with questions. Mm -hmm. This past semester, I found myself studying in the library a lot more, like by myself mm -hmm. on campus. And I think that that's really helpful, especially because I was living in an apartment with four boys and they're so noisy. So I had to get away from that environment in order to be productive. I really liked studying in the CED library, which is my college's library. Just staying on top of readings, I found myself getting behind towards the end of the semester mm -hmm. as I got lazier. But staying on top of your readings is really helpful towards the end because professors don't really keep track of you. Like they don't keep you on check when it comes to reading. So you have to do it on your own in order to basically pass the class at the end of the semester. And I think another thing that I've noticed is especially when I'm at home like opening up your windows and like letting light in I yeah. feel like that motivates you more and I always do that eating too. better taking care of yourself yeah I like wake up and I drink a shit ton of water and like have mm. smoothies for breakfast and stuff yeah. I just feel like you know I got my shit together and mm. I'm gonna study yeah. like that kind of motivates like just me. I liked having a routine like I would always go to Pete's get something mm. to eat for breakfast head to class and then go to the library after class then go to work favorite moment past semester or quarter. Okay, I was pretty proud of myself in my biochem class because I got above average on both of our midterms, mm -hmm. so I was pretty fucking happy about yeah. that. And I got a B on both, and I felt like I just studied really hard for those, mm -hmm. and I was proud of myself. What about your hardest? A breakdown or something? <laughs> it's just finals week, because I was kind of like slacking off towards the end of course, mm -hmm. and I had so much to review. I had two cumulative finals, and it was like so much information. Yeah. I didn't fully break down. Mm -hmm. I cried a little bit. I, I was think... just kind of over it at the end. Yeah, <laughs> like honestly, me too. I was. I had five finals, so I was, I was just totally ready done. for it to be over with. I think for me, just like, those moments of accomplishment throughout the semester, like if I did really well on a paper or a midterm. Mm -hmm. Even at work, like my managers would compliment me on like how well I was doing and that was really, really yeah. rewarding, you know? And that yeah, motivated me to do well. better. Yeah. And then hardest was definitely dead week and finals week. There was like this moment where I felt so overwhelmed because I had five finals and they were like w once a day at 8 a.m. And I was just like, when am I gonna study for these and how am I gonna like divide the time to dedicate to studying for each class? and. I was just like, I don't know if I can do it, <laughs> but I did it and I'm so glad it's done. What classes are you taking next semester? Okay, next quarter, I'm gonna take sensory evaluation of food, food chemistry, food plant sanitation and prerequisite programs. Mm -hmm. And I'm signed up for nutrition and aging and an English class. It's an introduction to classical literature class, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I wanna take 20 units. Oh, I don't know if I can, <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna choose one of those two. I'm taking four classes next semester. Taking City and Regional Planning 113B, City and Regional Planning 118AC, and both of those are, one of them is a major requirement and the other is a minor requirement. And then I'm taking Landscape Architecture and Environmental Planning 130, and then Architecture 140, which I believe is like a studio-based class physics-based too. So I'm kind of <laughs> nervous because I have a three-hour lab on Tuesdays. And I'm also thinking of like starting my own decal. Caitlin is encouraging me to start like a makeup decal or something on campus. So we'll see how that goes. Cool. And then I'm also applying to study abroad in the summer. How was your living situation? I've been living in the same like studio back house with the same roommate mm -hmm. I've had for the past three years. It's going well. Mm -hmm. It's close to two different bus stops. I think I told you guys this earlier in the semester, but I was living in like a temporary apartment because my rental company messed up with the dates of our new apartment, which was being built at the time. So we had to live in a temporary apartment for about months until the end of October. And then we finally moved into our new apartment and it's so nice. I love it. It's right next to campus. It's literally a block away. And all the food yeah, all the food places are right there. It's <laughs> brand new. There's a study room downstairs, laundry's on site. All utilities are included, but we did have a ton of issues with the <laughs> rental company like I don't think I ever want to rent with them again Jazzy knows she, <laughs> yeah. she's seen me like it's so mad and like it 
kind of put a strain on my relationships with my roommates or my apartment mates. It's nice. Yes, it's <laughs> nice, but like I did have some issues with some apartment mates throughout the semester. So. Do they watch your videos? No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> and I don't care because <laughs> they should know because that I'm don't annoyed. Eat someone's fried rice. Or right? Roast. You don't eat all my leftovers. <laughs> I feel like that was probably the toughest part for me, like the living yeah. situation, because it frustrated me a lot yeah. and gave me a lot of anxiety. And it's such an expensive apartment, too. So I have to reconsider my living situation next year for sure mm -hmm. we look forward to next semester fresh start or next mm -hmm. quarter we hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any other questions please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check us out on twitter and instagram at jkbd8 and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye guys, guys.